We were cleaning up in the shop and I'd forgotten about this particular experiment. Now, a while back we were trying to figure out how come keep torching those motors. It's 250 Cummings motors. The, the internet's being the internet that it is. Oh, oh, it's because you're running the SCA Lifetime Antifreeze Package. This material right here. Now, set aside the fact that there's a Cummings Tech Bulletin that says you need to run that. You know, set aside the fact that the uh, company say, no, no, it's fine, just don't let it get acidic, like any other antifreeze. So here we have got in this jug, it's been completely ignored now for about eight months, it has been soaking in the antifreeze. This was the one that I cooked, and I brought this up to 250 degrees. This, by the way, is a uh, cylinder liner o-ring. It's actually this cylinder liner o-ring. This one was in lacquer thinner, but it has evaporated out. I don't know if we can draw any conclusions from that since it has evaporated clear. This one is in motor oil and this one here is in mineral spirits and I've already pulled on it a little bit. But let's get a baseline and I'm going to use communist units because it's just easier. So let's go. These, these o-rings here have a definitive oval pattern so in the rate of consistency Let's just grab the bottom of the oval. And as far as tension goes, eh, just enough to hold it in place. So I'm looking at four millimeters is what the nominal thickness of that is. Let's pull the one out of lacquer thinner. Again, I, I don't really think we can draw any conclusions. I have no idea how long ago the lacquer thinner melted out of it. What are we looking at here? Four millimeter. This one, is mineral spirits. A couple of differences I can feel immediately. It is fatter and softer. Okay, it is far more flexible and pulling on it showed me that it's also far more brittle. Or rather it, it, it stretches and breaks. Five and a half. Five and a half, six, depending on where I grab it. Again, This is just feels gummy. Suppose that makes sense, soaking eight months in a solvent. Looking in the jars, it appears that the motor oil has had similar effects. This is the same motor oil I run in the truck. This was a Rotella, Rotella 1540, I believe. I have to go look at the books. Once again, I can, I can clearly feel that the O-ring is far more pliable. It does not, however, seem to be more fragile. It doesn't want to break easier, for instance. Five millimeters. So we've seen uh, a definitive swelling and softening. These, of course, are in the crankcase, and while there would not be direct oil hanging on them at any one time, they're constantly in the oil vapor, oil and fuel vapor, especially the bottom one would be in the oil and fuel vapor. So it, it, it makes sense. I'm surprised that a, a single millimeter makes that much difference to it. But it truly, it truly just measured out. Uh, it's just maybe just over five millimeter. And this, of course, is the one we've all been waiting for. The culprit, according to the internet. Well, according to a couple of very loud people on the internet. The antifreeze. Oh, that's, that's because you're running that there antifreeze. You need to run the green stuff. Well, your opinion differs from the maintenance bulletin issued by Cummings. Your opinion differs from the manufacturers of the antifreeze, the manufacturer of the engine. Here we are. I can tell you, I do not feel any difference in springiness. Four millimeters on the nose. This is the one that I cooked at 450 degrees. Noticeably softer. Uh, I don't know if you're going to get this on camera. It's all like flaky and stuff. It does not appear to be any larger. It's not. It's not any larger. It is, however, way more pliable. 
So as far as things that damage the O-rings, oil shows some reaction. Mineral spirits shows a lot of reaction with a clear weakening of the strength, the, the tensile strength. Running the SCA additive package has not affected them in any way. That's not surprising considering that's what Cummings specs. Again, motor oil softened them up. I think we got to throw the lacquer thinner one out. I mean, there's some oozins in the jar. It no longer smells like lacquer thinner. To be honest, it smells like soap. That's weird. Um, I think we got to toss this one out. There is my L, so I knew it was lacquer thinner. I think we got to toss this one out of the mix. I would have expected it to react the most. Has it gone fragile, though? No. No, it feels no different than the, than the control one. Anyways, I got a lot of room on the shelves. It's not really an issue for me. I already know that running the spec SCA additive package is what I should do because that's what the engine manufacturer tells me to run. Obviously, any antifreeze that gets uh, any antifreeze that gets acidic is bad for your motor. And other than just stupid stuff like, come on, guys, we know uh, running pure mineral spirits in a motor. Yeah, and that's that's no bueno. Although fuel pretty solvent rich. The only one that shows serious signs of damage beyond the really stupid one with uh, the mineral spirits is the heat. I baked this in a toaster oven for 20 minutes at 450 degrees and it shows clear, very, very clear and substantial damage. Thus confirming what was killing the 250s Simple heat. I mean, look at the O-ring. How wavy it is. Look at that pinning. Look how deep it is over there. I know it. Oh, I'd say that goes right through the piston wall.